Good morning, our Steve. Karen speaking. When Karen Hobbs was just 24, she was diagnosed with cervical cancer. It was caught early and the tumour was successfully removed. OK, so have you been invited for a screening? Are you 25 or about to be 25? Now she uses her experience to encourage others to go for screening or to guide them through their treatment by answering calls at a charity helpline. But a new test will eventually mean women won't necessarily need a smear test at all, which so many dread, instead providing a sample from home. People don't go for loads of different reasons. I want people to be tested. So if it means doing an at-home test, as long as the test is effective, if it means they're more comfortable, they don't have to have anything inserted into their vagina, a stranger's not doing it, if that means that they will get screened, that's amazing. The current screening process works by taking a sample of cells from the cervix at a doctor's surgery. But under the new test, a urine or vaginal sample is taken using a DIY home kit. Several studies have shown the results to be just as accurate as from the clinically taken sample. Scientists at Queen Mary University of London asked 600 women to provide samples collected themselves using a simple swab. I think there's enough evidence for to begin to use it now for women who do not come for a clinician taken sample, uh, this is clearly a, as good a test and can be done at home. In the future, we think that this can potentially be done in all women, uh, but there is more work to be done to look exactly how it compares to the cl clinically taken samples. The new S5 test can identify the most dangerous types of the human papillomavirus and then indicate the risk of getting cancer. Around a quarter of women currently fail to go for cervical screening when invited. It's hoped the new home testing kit will not only improve take-up, but also save the NHS money. Two women die every day from cervical cancer. Even with campaigns cervical like this, the number of women going for tests keeps falling. At any one time, there are about five million women who are overdue their screening test at the moment. So we're at a 21-year low um, of women attending for screening. So we really need to change the story on that. And that's where anything which makes that test easier and more accessible for all is really, really welcome. The new test has been described as a game changer. There seems little doubt it'll mean more lives are saved. Emma Birchley, Sky News.